Hi everybody and welcome to the Free Science Workshop's fourth science kit video. This week it's alive. We are getting into the science of plants and in your kit you should have a few things to help get you started. Our seed information packet, a little egg carton cup, a bag of potting soil, a popsicle stick, and a little blue piece of tape with an S on it. And if you feel that, you should feel that there are three little seeds inside. And that's what we're going to go ahead and get started with. Clearing out some space on your work table that you don't mind getting dirty. You're going to want to start with your little egg carton cup, your bag of potting soil, and if you don't want to get your fingers in the soil, you can use the popsicle stick. To make a nice little home for our seed, we're going to want to empty some of the potting soil into the egg carton cup. Not so much that it dumps everywhere, but enough that your egg carton is mostly full. There's almost certainly more soil than you need in that little bag, but feel free to save it for repotting your mint later, perhaps planting another seed. You might want to tap the top of your soil just to help it settle into the cup. We don't want to squish it down so tight that the plant can't put in roots. We do want to make sure that it has a sturdy place to start growing. You may be tempted to dig a really deep hole to plant your seeds. After all, it is fun to dig in the dirt. But this spearmint specifically doesn't need to be planted very deep. In fact, only a little covering of soil is necessary. We don't want to put our little plant friends so far into the soil that they can't break through to get to the sunlight. A little dent right in the middle should be more than enough. Eventually, we'll be watering our plant. And the cardboard egg carton often lets water seep through. So I would recommend putting it on a lid or a napkin or a paper towel or a small plate or really anything that'll keep your table from getting wet. A quick side note about the seeds in the kit. Spearmint seeds specifically are tiny, like really tiny. And as fun as it would be to throw three random tiny seeds into a paper bag and call it a scavenger hunt, we wanted to make sure that you could still get to them in order to plant them. When you take a look in your kit, you'll notice that we sandwich the seeds in between two pieces of blue painter's tape. And when you peel that tape apart, you might notice a couple things. If your seeds still look like round yellow balls, then what you're looking at is the coating around the seed. If your seeds look like crushed yellow powder, don't worry. Your seed is very likely still in there and just fine. These seeds are what's called coated seeds, which means they're surrounded by a material often containing nutrients or something to help the plant hold its moisture, and it also makes the seed a little bit bigger and easier to get a hold of. If we smush the coating, you'll see it kind of comes off like a yellow powder, and what we're looking for inside is a tiny, tiny, tiny little spearmint seed that will hopefully turn into a big healthy plant one day. This one is so small, it's hard to get on camera, let alone get it in focus. To take an even closer look, here's one seed that's been squished, and two that are still intact. It's very likely that in the process of taking your seeds out of the package, they will get crushed. If we can see right here, that just means that the seed is less protected by the coating and more exposed to the outside air. Thankfully, the stuff in the coating is meant to go in the ground, so when we plant our seeds, we can just go ahead and dump the whole lot right in. Seeds and coating powder or hole, everything but the tape can go right into that little dent that we've made in the dirt. If you're worried about your seeds sticking to your tape, feel free to take something like tweezers or a popsicle stick. Once you're fairly certain you've gotten all you can off the tape and into the soil, you might want to rub your thumbs over the tape. See if it feels smooth like crushed powder, or if you feel any bumps that might be your spearmint seeds. To tuck our seeds in, we just want to brush the smallest bit of dirt over top so that they're covered. And from here on out, the seeds will do most of the work. We do want to make sure that we give it plenty of sunlight and water. We've got a little homemade Mountain Dew bottle with some holes in the cap as our watering can. And now for the hardest part of this whole experiment, waiting. After about a week or two, you should start to see your spearmint as a little tiny sprout coming up out of the dirt. With enough water, but not too much, and enough warmth and sunlight, but not too much, your plant should grow happy and healthy. Spearmint's one of those plants that is a little tricky to get going, but once it is growing, it will take off like nobody's business. Here we've got a small chunk of a bigger plant that has been growing outside in the garden that is ready to be repotted and start its life as a new separate plant. If your plant seems ready to upgrade, 
you'll want to move it into a bigger container, making sure that it's got enough holes for drainage and enough space for your plant to actually grow bigger. For this one, we've got a rinsed out yogurt container with some holes popped in the bottom, as well as a lid to catch any water that might drain out the holes when we water them. To aid in drainage, we've also collected some rocks from outside to fill the bottom of the container with. We're going to try not to use any giant rocks, but not to fill the holes up with sand either. Just to provide a little bit of space between the bottom of the soil and the bottom of the container, so the water can filter through the holes without getting dirt all clogged up and flooding your plant. That looks pretty good. Mint is pretty sturdy, so today I'm going to use the leftover potting mix for making the science kits, but outside soil, aka dirt, should do the job just fine. Placing the plant into its new soil is a bit like a hug. You want it to be secure enough to hold the plant in place, but not pack down so tightly as to crush any part of it or restrict movement. Try to add enough soil so that the plant is at or near the top of the pot and hopefully relatively centered. Keep up your routine of providing the plant with access to sunlight and adequate water, and before you know it, you'll have all the mint you could possibly need for fresh lemonade, ice cream, tea, or just to freshen up your breath for when we're finally allowed to open our doors again.